In this video, we show you how to perform a DVI, or Digital Vehicle Inspection. Before we get started, notice that we are logged in as a technician. In the upper right hand corner, we have TC because we are logged in as Technician C. Over to the left, there are no employees or shop settings because we are using the default permissions for the technician. So next, I notice that I've been dispatched a new repair order because I can see it on my job board. It's repair order 250 for Frank Stan and the Honda Element. And I can select it to move into the repair order. Once in the repair order, I would move into inspections to see any of the vehicle issues. Notice it has a red circle with three in it because there are three concerns. One, two, and three. So these concerns are customer concerns. Underneath that we have technician concerns and we can add a DVI to the repair order by selecting add new inspection. But before we do that let's take a look at some of these concerns. So Frank is here for an oil change, a state inspection, and he needs us to check his tires. So as a technician I would want to select add findings. I'm going to pull the vehicle in, I'm going to lift it up, spin the tires, check pressures, and if I find any issues this is where I'm going to document them. So let's imagine we find a nail in the tire. It's losing air, whatever you need to document you can type in there. So the advisor would use this concern with these findings to build the correction on what it would take to fix any tire or tires. Now if the technician made a mistake they can fix this. So if we need to edit this finding we can hit the three dots to the right we can delete it to start from scratch or we can edit the concern. So for this we need to specify which tire we're talking about. So right front and we'll save it. Now the advisor would have good information to build the repair order. Now underneath that we have technician concerns. So if there's something odd that the technician finds they can document it. We'll select add concerns. We can rate this concern. So green means it's checked OK. Yellow might need attention in the future. Red means it needs immediate attention and the minus sign is not applicable. So for this one I'm going to say it's red needs immediate attention. In the inspection task box I want to document what I found. So here the technician found a yoga mat burning on the exhaust causing smoke, smelt terrible and we need to fix it. So down below we would want to write whatever it would take to fix this issue. And save it. So now your advisor knows he needs to build a job and we need to scrape it off, take the torch to it, whatever you think is going to fix it, you would document it here. Once again, if you made a mistake, you can delete it or you can edit it. Now beneath that, this is where we would add an inspection to the repair order. So I'm going to select it. Here we can add two or three inspections to one repair order if we need to. But for this one let's just stick to our 20 point inspection and I'm going to add it. So now below we have one inspection on this repair order. If we jump back to the job board we still see our repair order but notice that it has an icon. It's because it means that we did add an inspection to the, to the repair order so we can see it. Jump back in the repair order, back in the inspections, and now let's start filling out this inspection. So to do the inspection, you want to hit the edit pencil either here or here. It does the same thing. It expands the DVI. And then we can start rating some of these tasks. So body, interior, and under hood, these would be groups. And dent, scratches, and paint pills, these would be tasks. So imagine we're walking up to the car. We don't see any dents. We walk around the car, we don't see any scratches, paint looks fine. We sit in the vehicle. Instrument cluster looks good, seat belts are retracting, mirrors look great, there's no cracks in the windshield. And then we get to under the hood. We take a look at the belt and let's imagine that it has a cracked dry ratting belt. So I'd want to mark it red. And then in the finding section, I would write what I found. Now if you're on a tablet or a smaller device, you can add a photograph and you can snap a picture. It's going to ask you, do you want to use the device's camera or do you want to upload a photo? Same thing for videos. 
for here, since I'm on a desktop, I'm going to add a photograph, but I'm going to upload it. I'm going to click into the camera and then I'm going to choose my cracking belt photo. Now with the photograph on the DVI, I can hover over it. I can select the three dots and I can hit the word edit. And then here I can really show the customer why we need to replace this belt and hit save. So now the customer has good visual aid on why they should fix the belt and they're probably going to approve any jobs that we offer them. Same thing works for videos. So imagine we find some filters that might need attention. Here for your videos you don't want to do a five minute video. I would think you want to do 10 second burst of ball joints, tie rod ends. Here I'm going to add a video. But like I said, don't do a full minute. I would think 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 15 seconds. If you have a camera that has 4K resolution, it's going to take a long time to upload. So think about the resolution and the videos that you're that you're putting on these DVIs. Now, we can go through the list if we find anything red, anything green. And then imagine that we have some sort of diagnostic job. You can put a PDF on the DVI. So once again, I'm going to upload a PDF. So I hit the PDF symbol. And then I got a sample PDF, but here we could have a diagnostic log or wiring schematics. We could add it to our DVI. So now if we select it, we can see whatever we added, the diagram or the diagnostic log, or we can delete it your choice. And at this point we're going to hit save as a technician and notice what happens. When we hit save everything that we found that was red or green populates up to the top so our advisor knows what jobs to build. So once we've hit save the last step is we'd want to mark this DVI complete. So we'll select mark complete it timestamps when we're done with it and we're going to send our advisor a notification that we're done with the DVI and we'll hit save. And at this point we are done. If we jump back to the job board, our icon of the DVI has changed green, meaning that we did complete it, and now the advisor would jump into the repair order and build any jobs off of the findings that we have discovered with our DVI. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.